Meghan warned that the court case Beffer reputation is damaged. Duchess of Sussex told to get out of lawsuit now or face strice and effect. Mark Stephens, of British firm Howard Kennedy, believes the Duchess of Sussex is risking an even greater invasion of her privacy. While her legal battle against the Mail on Sunday continues, Meghan has been warned by an expert to get out now of her ongoing privacy case. Meghan is seeking damages for alleged misuse of private information, breaching the Data Protection Act and infringement of copyright over five articles published in February 2019, which included extracts from the private and confidential letter to her father. The newspaper claimed in court documents that the Duchess has compromised any expectation of privacy in relation to the letter by allowing details of her private life to be published in a recent biography. Now Mark Stephens, of British firm Howard Kennedy, said Meghan risks experiencing an even greater invasion of privacy while the legal battle continues. He told Newsweek, if I was advising Meghan I'd be saying get out now. This is another hole below the waterline. The risk is that how she curates her reputation, what she allows into the public domain, and what she doesn't, are now things that will be picked over by lawyers in cross-examination. The stakes are enormous because at the moment her reputation is not damaged particularly. She's had an invasion of privacy and she feels strongly about it but the reality is she has only got a downside here. The more that she protests about wanting to protect her privacy, the more that people are going to investigate. How she has curated the strice and effect of amplifying the positive PR and negativizing the other PR. The strice and effect, named after singer Barbara Streisand is an online phenomenon, in which an attempt to hide or remove information such as a photo results in the greater spread of the information in question. In its amended offense, seen by the PA news agency, the publisher claims, Meghan compromised her right to privacy in relation to the letter as she permitted information about her own private and family life, and relationships, correspondence, as well as the private lives of other people, to enter the public domain by means of the book. ANL argued that the account in Finding Freedom of Meghan's letter to her father and his response is very critical of Mr. Markell. While the Sussexes are portrayed as generous, thoughtful and considerate. Anthony White QC, for ANL, said in the document, it is to be inferred that this account of the letter is part of the version of events. That the claimant wanted published, that she caused this account to be given to the authors for the purpose of publication. And that, had the defendant published this version of events, that is, an account entirely from her point of view. The claimant would not have had or made any complaint about the publication of any of the contents of the letter. The updated offense also denies that Meghan has been caused any distress, damage, humiliation, or embarrassment by the publication of the letter to her father. Meghan's lawyers have described the accusations that the Duke and Duchess collaborated with the authors as a conspiracy theory saying references to the letter in the book were simply extracts from the letter lifted from the defendant's own articles. In separate witness statements filed on behalf of the Duchess, Mr. Scobie said, any suggestion that the Duke and Duchess collaborated on the book is false, while Meghan's solicitor Jenny Afia described much of the information about the Sussexes in finding freedom as extremely anodyne, the product of creative license or simply inaccurate. The Duchess legal team are likely to file a written response to ANL's amended offence in the coming weeks, but may also challenge a decision to allow the publisher to amend its defence at the Court of Appeal. Meghan's case against ANL, which has been listed for a 10-day trial in January, is one of several high court claims, recently brought by the Duke and Duchess against media organisations. Meghan is also suing the Splash News and Pictures Agency over long lens photographs of her and her son Archie taken in a Canadian park in January this year. Finding Freedom is an unauthorized biography of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex by Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand. It provides intimate details of the blossoming romance between Meghan and Prince Harry, including what happened on their first date or during their first romantic trip to Botswana. It also recounts what the Duchess noticed the most in Kate and Prince William's home in London the first time she visited it her charitable work and the steps taken before splitting from the royal family. During the hearing on Tuesday, Master Francesca Kay said, The allegation Meghan had fed information to the authors may quickly collapse at the upcoming trial. 
However, Shirold Associated Newspapers is entitled to advance this argument in its defense. Both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the authors of Finding Freedom have denied Meghan or Harry contributed to the book. Prince Harry announced last October Meghan had decided to sue Associated Newspapers. After the Mail on Sunday published extracts of a private letter she wrote to her estranged father. The Duchess accuses the publisher of misuse of private information, breach of data protection and copyright infringement. Associated Newspapers wholly denies any wrongdoing. The trial is due to start on the 11th of January and is set to last approximately 10 days. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.